So today's topic um, is something that I would consider very important. It's almost like a red alert, um, kind of a very morbidly disturbing aspect of the gaming industry. Um, many um, developers and publishers have learned the hard way that you know screwing over the people that basically provide them with money is you know and a, basically a salary or a paycheck is kind of a no-go you know screwing over the group of people or that, that large community of people that support you and your business and finding any kind of business model that really truthfully speaking fucks over the gamer is not really a good business idea and it really doesn't help your publishing company nor does it help your development team and all it does is make resentment towards your, uh, you know, publisher and, and your developer, and ultimately your game starts to lose momentum and starts to dwindle, and then it becomes a game that I would consider something that's n worth nothing. It has m very little meaning, and it basically turns into a fucking insult or meme or just something that you are very ashamed of and you don't even want to associate yourself with and those are my thoughts and reactions when it comes to activision and all the developers of call of duty yes i'm happy that we have boots on the ground you know i'm happy that we're going back to world war ii but then learning from um you know other youtubers um that i that i watch you know they were talking about uh, this art news article that came out from the Rolling Stones magazine, which you know I'm not, I don't really read uh, any real media outlet because I really don't care for what's going on in the business world, nor with celebrities or politicians. I don't really give a shit about all that. But you know, coming across multiple, multiple videos of people talking about how Activision uh, has um, put up a patent. Uh, that recently went through that it's, uh, they own it. Uh, it's a new marketing idea, basically. Uh, when it comes to um, their multiplayer uh, aspect of the game and micro trans uh, transactions. So what this basically means is that they can completely alter and manipulate the game in your multiplayer experience to prop up the idea and promote the idea of you buying micro DLCs. That is so disgusting as any, like anyone that will go to that ridiculous length, you know that there is a problem and that problem is called greed. Um, if you are that ill where you need to continuously make that much money and you can't you know make a sacrifice just so you can please your audience the people that give you your paycheck to begin with i i basically i feel as if i lost all hope for call of duty um i'm starting to have very strong regrets that i pre-ordered and paid for um you know call of duty world war ii because of this particular business model that they're going down uh with um so I got a limited amount of time, but I'm just so sad and frustrated and disappointed, really, um, the fact that a developer and a publisher, mainly the publisher, Activision, is willing to go to that extent where they want to literally manipulate your game, even, like, prop up if you happen to get lucky enough to get, you know, a DLC weapon. They're going to make that weapon have more damage and you're going to be put in a lobby of players that actually don't have that weapon. That weapon will somehow be manipulated just enough to give it just that little extra bit of, you know, that golden shower crispiness. And I say golden shower because it is piss. It's complete shit to do that. You're manipulating the game on that level you're basically altering the game, and that's when I have to say that I'm going to really just announce on this channel, I'm done with Call of Duty. I do want to play Call of Duty World War II because they will not be implementing that in Call of Duty World War II, at least not yet. They might do it maybe midway through the season when the game starts to dwindle down. And then they'll do like DLC weapons on a very extensive level so they can make extra money just before the new game comes out. And then the new game will probably have that 
whole um, thing and aspect that I'm talking about fully implemented and fully right right off the get-go, right from day one. So Call of Duty World War II, luckily enough, maybe for the first you know f four to six months, we might actually not have the system that they're trying to go through uh, with. Um, they're not going to have that, but in the very next game, they probably will. And I'm just disappointed. Um, I hate the fact and idea that Activision will want to manipulate the game to make more money. Um, that's terrible. And let, let this be known that Call of Duty as a whole, as a series, is going to dwindle and die. And Activision as a publisher will lose all credibility and respect because of their business model. And that's my personal opinion. So that's all I got to say. I'm the mitten. Those are my opinions. That's all I got to say. So I literally all I gotta say, man. I'm just I'm I'm like I don't even know what what else to say, man. Peace.